Welcome. I am Aaron Stubberfield and I will be your instructor for this course. The Pandas package is a powerful tool for manipulating and transforming data in Python. However, when working on an analysis, the data needed could be in multiple tables. This course will focus on a vital skill of merging tables together. As we start, two quick clarifications. First, through other courses on DataCamp, you may have learned how to import tabular data as data frames. In this course, you may hear the words table and data frames, but they are equivalent here. Second, we will refer to combining different tables together as merging tables. But note, some refer to this same process as joining. To help us learn about merging tables, we will use data from the City of Chicago data portal. The city of Chicago is divided into 50 local neighborhoods called wards. We have a table with data about the local government offices in each ward. In this example, we want to merge the local government data with census data about the population of each ward. If we look at the wards table, we have different information about the local government of each ward, such as the government's office address. This table has 50 rows and four columns or one row for each ward. The census table contains the population of each ward in 2000 and 2010, and that changed as a percentage. Additionally, it includes the address for the center of each ward. This table has 50 rows and six columns. The two tables are related by their ward column. We can merge them together, matching the ward number from each row in the wards table to the ward numbers from the census table. For example, the second ward in the wards table with Alderman Brian Hopkins would be matched with the row two of the census table where the population in 2000 was 54,361. The Pandas package has an excellent data frame method for performing this type of merge called merge. The merge method takes the first data frame, ward, and merges it with the second data frame, census. We use the on argument to tell the method that we want to merge the two data frames on the ward column. Since we listed the ward table first, its columns will appear first in the output, followed by the columns from the census table. In this example, the merge returns a data frame with 50 rows and nine columns, where the return rows have matching values for the ward column in both tables. This is called an inner join. An inner join will only return rows that have matching values in both tables. You may have noticed that the merge table has columns with suffixes of underscore X or Y. This is because both the wards and census table contain address and zip columns. To avoid multiple columns with the same name, they are automatically given a suffix by the merge method. We can use the suffix argument of the merge method to control this behavior. We provide a tuple where all of the overlapping columns in the left table are given a suffix underscore ward and those of the right table will be given a suffix underscore cent. This makes it easier for us to tell the difference between the columns. Now let's practice using a merge method. 